So I've been wanting to film this video to share my review on this product with you guys for I don't know a couple days and laziness has gotten the best of me but I finally sat myself down to do this because really this is not very hard to do like why can't I just sit in front of the camera and talk because I'd rather take a nap that's what was happening sorry anyway so what I really wanted to talk to you guys about today is the new L'Oreal true match super blendable crayons um, I'm really excited about this product I am a huge fan of the L'Oreal true match line I use their foundation now and I used to use their powder um, but I've since switched but it was still a good powder I liked it um, and I really I just love the line because it really makes makeup really easy, for, especially for the beginner. First of all, you get a wider variety of shades, um, and then you have them divided into different undertones so that you can more easily pick the shade that goes best with your specific undertones. Um, and it kind of helps you figure out what those undertones are. And then you can kind of go directly to that classification, either neutral, cool, or warm and then pick your shades and the rest of your makeup based on that classification. So for me, I wear the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the color C3. Um, so then you can pick blushes that are, you know, that it'll say blushes, you know, it'll say for shade ranges C1 through 3 or C4 through 5. Um, so it really makes picking out your makeup really easy so it's less intimidating for anybody who's really just starting out. So I love the line. I think the um, the foundation and the blushes and the um, powders and the concealers that they've had have all worked really, really well. They have beautiful coverage. Um, they have beautiful pigmentation. It looks really nice on. It looks natural. Um, I absolutely love the line. So I was incredibly excited when I walked into the drugstore and saw the display for these crayons. Now, the whole crayon phenomenon has like blown up and I have to admit I'm a big fan of it. I mean, I love jumbo eyeshadow pencils, especially the long wearing, non creasing kind. Um, I love the Just Kissable Balm Stain um, kind of crayon lipsticks and now I've seen, you know, a lot more um, brands coming out with those as well and so I was really excited when I saw the concealers I mean I love I don't know why I love crayon um, looking uh, products so much maybe it takes me back to childhood whatever I like it um, but I really was like okay so I was really excited so I wanted to try it out and see how it measured up and share that with you alright so let me talk about my grievances about the product first because really there's only one thing that I have to complain about um, and otherwise I really like it and I'll tell you why I really like the product but let me just get my like complaint out of the way let's get the negativity out first the one thing that I was a little disappointed about with this line is that it only seems to come in the neutral and warm shades. So the one that's missing is actually my undertone, which is the cool undertone. Um, so I kept walking. It was really funny to watch me. I kept walking around the display thinking maybe I was missing something. Um, but no, it's just in neutral and cool, and they come in different shades. This one, for example, um, N123, N4 through 5, and then the same with warm. So obviously my shade was missing in action. And I don't know why, I don't know if they just decided to only release those because they figured those were the most popular shades or if, you know, they plan to release some C, you know, some cool undertone concealers later or what the deal is and I still don't know the answers to those questions. Um, I just know that I've, everywhere I've seen them there have not been any um, slots in the display for the um, cool undertone. So I'm assuming that they didn't release any. Um, but I was not going to let that deter me. I was not going to let that stop me from trying to figure out how I could make this work for me. So what I did the first um, for the first one that I bought, I bought the N123, and I did that because, as I mentioned, I uh, wear C3 normally. Um, so I, I just went by the number system. I thought, okay, well, if I wear C3, maybe an N3 would work. So I bought N123, and as it turns out, it is way too... It looks like it was right when I, like, looked at it in the store, like, put it up against my skin. 
it actually looked like it was right and I took it home and um, I didn't do something smart like uh, read what the rest of the label said which um, it says fair light I've never been fair light in makeup I'm usually light medium but mostly light um, so that was dumb um, so I got home and I used it and it ended up being way too light for me but I still liked how the consistency was and um, how it blended and everything else so I went back and I purchased the N4-5 through and then I held it up next to my um, foundation and it actually looks pretty much almost identical so if you happen to wear the shade C3 in the true match N4 and 5 will probably work or 4-5 through in this concealer crayon will probably work best for you um, so that is really my only grievance. That just caused a little bit of confusion and um, I figured, you know, the whole premise behind the, the True Match line is, is to kind of make you know, choosing of your shades easier and that did not help. So that's my only complaint. Let me tell you a little bit about what I love about this product and why I would definitely repurchase it now that I found my shade and how it works for me. First of all, my experience with stick concealer has been in the past that they're really really dry I really just hadn't found a stick concealer that I'd liked I didn't search high and low and try a million of them I think I tried two different ones it was ages ago I hated them I never did it again um, so I was a little apprehensive in that sense when I picked this up but because I love the true match line so much I was like I'm gonna try it anyway I'm gonna give this another shot I was so pleasantly surprised. First of all, this stuff is a really nice, um, the consistency is a really nice in-between for a stick and a cream. So it's not anywhere near as liquidy as a liquid uh, concealer and it's certainly not as dry as a, a lot of other stick concealers but it's not also as creamy. It's a really nice in-between. So when you apply it, which I'll actually do a little bit later, I'll show you how I put it on. It just goes on really, really easily. So you basically you just kind of draw it on where you need it and it glides on very easily. It doesn't tug. It's not dry, so it doesn't do that. Um, and then you just kind of blend it out. And let me tell you, this stuff blends out so smoothly and so nicely. And it looks very natural like I feel like I, I put it on and I don't look overly done I feel like it's a really nice color that that kind of really blends into my skin tone really really easily I mean when I'm actually applying it on camera a little later um, you can hardly see it as I'm drawing it on but once I blend it out you can kind of see the difference that it created um, so I love the consistency I think it's a really great in between especially for anybody who has trouble with creamier um, concealers because they maybe don't stay put as long for you or anything like that. I think this might be a nice alternative for, for you if you face that problem. Another thing that I really like, again, is the is how easily blendable it is. It just, I mean, all you have to do is pat. It's not, you. I, I mean, unless you over apply, you don't really have to drag it. Um, you just kind of pat it on really nicely and it just and it almost feels when I'm as you're patting it it almost feels like it dries almost to like a powdery finish although not totally powdery um so you don't I don't feel like you really need to absolutely set it if you don't like to set your makeup say you don't like using powders because you feel like it makes you your skin look too dry or something along those lines you might actually be able to skip it as opposed to with a creamier version of of the product, it, it really does need that powder to kind of absorb the oils and help keep it in place. I still set it because I like to set it and I, I don't like to do touch-ups later on in the day and I feel like maybe if you, you know, didn't set it you might have to do some touch-ups but, but it really looks nice on your skin without doing that. It blends so nicely. I can't say that enough times. It really blends so nicely. I love that. Um, the other thing that I like is it, it's not in t it's not a long wearing um, makeup line um, so it's not it's not gonna last like all day long and never go away um, but it it I think it lasts a decent amount of time I I usually set it and I can go for the rest of the day and I will be fine 
the little bit of fading that happens is just a little bit of fading that's natural as you wear your makeup all day long. And I set it with powder and then I spray um, finishing spray on and I, obviously I use primer as well. Um, so the fading that I find is very minimal. Also, you can't, I mean, well, I guess you could beat the price, but the price is phenomenal. I believe at Walgreens, where I bought the first one, the price was $8.99 and at Target it was $7.99. But I actually had a coupon the second time around at Target and I had it, it was like $2 off. So I got it for like $5.99 or something ridiculous like that. So it's a really great price and the performance that you get from it for the price is really, I think, quite out outstanding. I think it covers up red really, really well. Like I put it on around my nose. I don't have a lot of darkness under my eyes. I just have a little bit in the inner corners that I kind of cover up. Um, so I don't know, I can't really necessarily compare how well it is if, you know, you have to tackle some really dark circles. So if you're looking for something that has a lot of coverage, I don't think that this will let you down necessarily. I think that the coverage is actually pretty good. So I think that if you needed to tackle some darker circles, you might be able to kind of build up that coverage. Another thing that you might want to know is that I, I don't have incredibly oily skin. I have normal the combination skin. So for me, I don't have a huge problem with my foundation trap or not my foundation, my concealer traveling away because you know I get really oily over here. I don't really have that problem very often. Um, my problem usually ends up being a little bit more with fading away um, but not traveling down my face if that makes sense. Um, what I found that really helps with making uh, my makeup last longer is to just kind of set it. So I really love this product. I would definitely repurchase it. Um, just to summarize, the, the, because I kind of got a little long-winded, the price is right. It's a great price point. Um, you have the performance and the quality that you normally get with the True Match line. Um, it's super easy to blend. It's it goes on very smoothly. It's not overly drying, which you really don't want a lot of, you know, something that's overly drying under your eye because everybody has those, you know, little lines and then that just anything that's drying under there accentuates that and that's not really what you're aiming for. And overall, it's just a really great product. I was very, very happy that once I got um, over the um, shade confusion, um, everything else turned out really well um, and I'm very happy with this purchase. So now I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I applied it in case you're curious. Alright, so I'm going to apply the concealer now. All I have on my face is I put on my foundation already, which um, is usually the order that I do my makeup in. I usually put my foundation on first and then correct any um, additional areas with concealer because that way I feel like I use less product on my face. Anyway, so as you can see, I only really get, I don't get a lot of darkness, but I do get a little bit just right in here in the um, inner corners of my eyes. So I usually like to use my concealer to, con you know, obviously to conceal these little bit of darkness that I get just in the inner corner of my eyes and um, just to kind of brighten up my face and to do a little bit of you know, highlighting and contouring. I just go right into the corner and then just sort of blend it out with my finger and tapping motions. And I kind of kind of pull it out a little just to kind of conceal and make everything even. And I just kind of pull it down a little bit. and conceal any redness around my nose. And I'll just do the same thing on the other side. But as you can see, you can already see a difference. Like you have you know, this line right here with a little darkness and over here it's kind of vanished. All right, so that's basically all that I do. And then with the lighter color, I um, will contour. And this is totally optional. Now as you can see I highlighted 
use the highlighter on one side and not on the other and you can kind of see that this has a little bit more lift and um, so that's the difference it would make if you decide to contour or highlight um, obviously the contour would be a little bit darker um, but right now I'm just highlighting and that's kind of the difference that it would make if you wanted to see it alright so I finished applying the highlighting shade um, on the other side of my face so that you know I'm even on both sides um, and then the last thing that I do is I will set the concealer with um, just a really finely milled loose powder. This is actually um, the e.l.f. Um, high definition powder. Um, I think it works really great for under the eyes because it's so finely milled and so soft. And I just use a little bit. I tap off the excess. And then I just kind of set my concealer. That's basically my review and my opinion on the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. If you've been curious and you've been seeing these new displays and you've been kind of wondering if it's something you should test out, hopefully this review has given you the insight and information that you were looking for. And until next time, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!